Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. And I am a rail enthusiast, loves going up and down the country, riding on the trains, filming and taking photos of them as well. These videos of my railway journeys can differ sometimes as they can go to plan or will go bad. Welcome to Simon Trains Railway Journeys. Hello, welcome to Musselburgh Station. We're about a four minute train ride journey away from Edinburgh Waverley Station. And this is the only intermediate station for services to Dunbar for Abellio Scott Rail. And you get the North Berwick services stopping here as well. Now today we are visiting the following railway stations. Falkirk Greyston, Carstairs, Inverkeithen, Dunbar, and the last station of the day, Musselburgh. So, the reason for this trip is, is Dunbar and Carstairs, because they're two stations that I've really wanted to do with this Spirit of Scotland Rover I've got. So, even though it's Friday the 13th, what could possibly go wrong? You're gonna join us at Stirling Station of the Warning heading to our first destination. So, we're starting our journey today just above Stirling Station. Walking to get some breakfast and then we're going to be on the 0808 to Edinburgh. We're getting off at Falkirk Greyston to do some filming there. So after Falkirk Greyston, go straight to Edinburgh. And as you can see, Stirling Station's just down here now. So get us something to eat and then get my train. We're now at Stirling Station. They're just calling my train to Falkirk Graveston, which is going to Edinburgh. Now the last time I did Falkirk Graveston, it was during Storm Gareth. And it was absolutely wet miserable and it was just felt like dream yesterday to be honest you just couldn't film in them conditions but i did but um, it's nice and sunny today so we're gonna have a nice sunny day at falkirk grace and then we're gonna move on to edward waverley to get to the next location from there we're just gonna have an hour at falkirk grace so we're gonna fill this train arriving in now Ah, we parked a bit too short. Anyway, this is 385418, gonna take it to Falkirk Greenstone. This is our first station of the day, Falkirk Greyenstun. Now this is a place that I do like to come and I have been here more than once so this is not a new station, it's more of a repeated one but I think I kind of own it after last year with Storm Gareth. And I was mainly under that footbridge most of the time filled with the trains and the rail was horrendous, wind, rain. If you looked on that's what dream, that's what exactly what it was like a bit, but a little worse. But um, yeah, there was like high winds as well. 
to be honest, I should have actually called it off last year doing that, but I did it and still Gareth wants to go stop me. But um, yes, yeah, so like I said, this is one of my favourite stations in Scotland to film at. We do get uh, electric trains here, you get Glasgow Queen Street to Edinburgh Waverley by here, which used to terminate for Glasgow Queen Street. Uh, they used to, uh, where they were diesel multiple unit operated, they used to go into the loop or siding on the way to Grangeworth. But um, the history of this station is that Falkirk Ray stood over by the Stirlingshire Midland Junction Railway on the 1st of October 1850 as Graham with Falkirk in brackets. This became a junction station for the line to Grangeworth when the Grangeworth Railway, which opened in 1860 or 1861, but that line closed it to passengers in 29th of January 1968, but kept open to freight because Grangeworth uh, has a lot of freight in and out these days. The station was related to Falkirk Grange until the 1st of February 1903, and the station buildings were replaced from the original buildings in 1985 or to 1986. So the reason about Falkirk Grace for now is because it's uh, about half eight in the morning and my ticket is not bad so I've got a single from Sterling to Falkirk Grace now a lot of my journeys I have started earlier I've got singles to the destinations like when I did uh, starting in Bidesset 901 I got a single to them and then used my road from Nairam uh, yesterday when I went to Slateford, I got a single from Sterling to Slateford and then I used to go over Slateford. That's what I've done here today. I've got a single to Falkirk Grayston, even though the ticket says Falkirk Grayston or High. Now Falkirk High is actually up in that direction which is a 20 minute walk. So we're going to fill some more trains here and then we're going to leave about 9.28 to go to Edinburgh. Once I'm at Edinburgh, I'm going to be changing trains to get to car stairs, which is what I want to do while I'm up here. There is a good time to do car stairs that I've found, so that's why I'm going to be doing it between 11 and 12. But car stairs on Friday the 13th, what could possibly go wrong? to Edinburgh now. Now the only reason I want platform 2 is because right next door across the street 
there is um, an Asda, literally just there. And I was using the um, Asda to get some food ready for later. But for some strange reason, I was stuck at a plan. And I noticed I'm leaving on the 9.37 out of here. Which I don't know why, I could just leave on the 9.25, I've had the full hour done. Don't know why, but... Um, yeah, so we're going to get the 9.25 to Edinburgh Waverley now, instead of over Haymarket as planned. And then once I'm at Edinburgh Waverley, I'll get my train to Carstairs from there. And also, if you noticed our Tuesday's blog, when I caught the Class 91 up to Stirling, and it stopped here, this was the station where they were only having one cat door open to allow people off, on and off the train here. Three eight five oh thirty is standing on platform nine E, which is just basically platform nine, it's just the eastern part of the station. Now this three car train is actually going to take me to a station, which I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but I never got the chance to do it. Now between eleven oh two and twelve twenty five, I will be visiting. Car stairs.
we have finally made it to Carstairs. Now this is our own platform on the West Coast Bay Line. Just before the station there is actually a triangle junction which I'll explain in a minute. Because one light takes you to Carlisle, one light takes you to Glasgow and the other light takes you to Edinburgh. But the history for this station is that Carstairs opened on the 15th of February 1848. I think it was by the Caledonian Railway. We did say that on Wikipedia. Now in 1974 the electrification scheme that I was electrified to Weaver Junction, which is just before Liverpool at Atom Bridge. Because that Weaver Junction is where the Liverpool trains divert off the West Coast Bay Line. To Glasgow Central was electrified. Glasgow is that way. However, though, the Edinburgh branch wasn't included in the scheme. But that was electrified in the late 1980s when they did the electrification of the East Coast Bay Line. Now, Carstairs was an important junction, it actually still is. When northbound West Coast Bay Line trains were split here for Glasgow, and then other services on the Edinburgh, Stirling, and Perth. Next to Carstairs is an important triangle junction, which I mentioned earlier. Now, the trains actually do still split here because the Caledonia Sleepers 1M11, I can't remember what the northbound one is. Because there is a London Houston to Carlisle and Edinburgh, and it splits here at Carstairs. With one portion going to Glasgow, one portion going to Edinburgh, so they do still split trains here. But back in like before the East Coast Bay Line electrification scheme, trains had to come here, and you had to split the train in half, so half the train went to Edinburgh from here, and the rest went on to Glasgow. But going to Edinburgh was diesel hauled. We're going to be here till 12.25 and then we're going back to Edinburgh. Now, the reason I've picked 11.02 to 12.25 is because it's roughly just over an hour. So I'm going to fill some more trains passing through here and then back to Edinburgh.
380 111 is sitting at car stairs. Now, it right here at 12.18. The time is now, I don't know if you can see or not, 12.20. That used got to sit here till 12.49 to carry on to Glasgow. Anyway, we're waiting for the 12.25 to Edinburgh, which should be here very soon.
We've come to Epikefin Station. Now I was going to do North Queen's Ferry, but the bridge is closed, so I thought I'm not going to do North Queen's Ferry, I'll come to Epikefin instead. The other place would have been Down Many, but I've been to Down Many so many times I thought, nah. But um, we're going to be here for an hour. I've actually caught an early train here than planned because the next train to Glen Office is forward to us, the train I was supposed to catch from Haymarket. So, been here about 15 minutes early. 10 15 minutes early, there's been nothing much through anyway. But um, the history in the Keith's station, there's not really much on Wikipedia. It opened in 1877 at the same time as the tracks of the Dunfermline and Queen's Ferry Railway opened. The line here splits into two. One goes off to Abadawa to Kilcoddy, and the other goes by Dunfermline to go over Office and but they meet just after Kilcoddy. Now, we're going to be here till just after 2 o'clock, uh, 14.22, to go back to Edinburgh. Because after Edinburgh, I'm going to Dunbar.
that is the uh, reason why I've not done the Queen's Ferry as planned. Footbridge is out of order. It's actually going to take me to Dunbar. It's a 20 minute journey from here. We've done a stop at the intermediate station for the way, like Bob Midri, Preston Prans, Drem, and so on. This actually gets it to Plymouth at 23.40 this evening. This is the 1508, it's the way for to Plymouth. Now, when we're at Dunbar, we're going to be there for just an hour and a half. And we're going to get the Scott Rail service that starts at Dunbar back to here. No. To muscle grow, then back to here.
this is Dunbar Railway Station. Now, the last time I came here, it only had one platform and it operated by East Coast Trains, this station. This was the only station in Scotland that East Coast Trains operated. Now it's operated by Bayo Scott Rail. Now, when I was here last, most of the trains that were going south and north I had to use this platform. So northbound trains had to come off the East Coast Bay Line into the loop at Dunbar and then they left to carry on to Edinburgh. Now the history of this station is as follows because well first of all we're 29 miles and 5 chains off Edinburgh Way for the station. Station opened on the 16th of June 1846 by the North British Railway with two platforms and the station roof. Now what I've done is on the back of this card is a roughly done a diagram what it used to look like. As you can see the two lines at the top of the East Coast Bay Line and Dunbar Station is on a loop. Now the Edinburgh Brown platform and the loop line was taken out of use in the early 1970s but a bit of it made today because that wall behind me is roughly where the platform was. Now the roof was removed during the East Coast Main Line electrification 1987 to 1988. And also, when I was at Berwick uh, a few days ago, I mentioned something about Penman Shields tunnel collapsing. Well, trains were terminated at Berwick upon Tweed from London King's Cross. However, trains from Edinburgh Waverley were terminated here for five months during 1979. So they had to send people with buses from here to Bank upon Tweed to complete their journey down to London. And also on the 15th of December 2019, after roughly spending about £13 million, they opened up a new platform at Dunbar. So behind me is platform two. Now I have been on that platform and to be honest, I'm not liking it. Don't get me wrong, if you're photoing, it's good, but videoing, it's a bit... Trains going to London, you won't catch them till you see them, unless you've got tracks here and literally monitoring it. However, though, they do have stand clear announcements on the platform of any trains going to Edinburgh. Now, I'm going to be here till 1706, because that's when my train to Musselburgh will arrive, depart. Because I'm on a train that starts here, and it goes calls at Musselburgh only and then Edinburgh Waverley because the North Berwick still have the stopping service but this has express to Musselburgh which should be 380 or 385 so we're going to fill some fast trains through here and then we're going to board by train to Musselburgh
So we're in the um, waiting shelter at the last station of filming today, Muscle Bra. Now, it has been good so far, but it's gonna start, lights gonna start fading soon, so might not get a few pictures, but we definitely get a video here. We're here till about quarter past six, and I'm going back into Edinburgh Waverley after that. But uh, the history of Muscle Bra station is interesting because this is not the original station. A station of the same name was opened by the North British Railway in July 1847. It was not located next to the main line, but alongside the River Esk. The station serviced the Edinburgh Dalkeith line to Fisherbow, but it was closed to passage in 1964 and goods to 1970. However, this station here, now here actually opened on the 3rd of October 1988 by British Rail. So we're here, like I said, till quarter past six, get a few trains passing through, and then go back to Waverley to get back to Stirling.
So as you know now, I'm back in the Premier League Sterling. Now, even though this was Thursday's plan that I did today, it actually paid off, which was brilliant. Started at uh, Volker Grays this morning. They filled 385s there, but for some strange reason, had myself, here we are, had myself on 2J68, the 0937 to Edinburgh Waverley, well, to Haymarket. Now, I'm glad I did not get that trade, because that trade did actually run 10 minutes late, so I got the 0925, the one before it, and got into Edinburgh for 10 o'clock. And then I went over to Carstairs after that. Carstairs was a new location for me, one that I wanted to do for a long while. And it did not disappoint. Okay, yes, there were speed restrictions there. Some were 20 miles an hour, some were 50 miles per hour, but I don't know why they were there, but they were there and things slowly went through, so I got the numbers brilliantly. Carstairs was actually a good day. If I did that on the first day as planned, it, well, it actually did not rain, but it was still windy though, so... Then I went back over to Edinburgh Haymarket, so then went over to Ether Keefin. Couldn't do North Queen's Fair because the bridge was out of use, the footbridge. I think the diversion is a long way around, so I thought, right, don't do North Queen's Fair, do Ether Keefin instead. I got an early train down there, because I got the Arbroath train, and apart from our turbo stars, I did get an HST and a 158. It really did get bowled out the HST, but anyway. Ethan Kiefer was alright. Then I went back to Edinburgh Waverley. And then what I found out was 1500, the DTV, 82205, the fine Scotswoman, actually left on the 1500 to King's Cross. And I was on the 1508 to, to Plymouth, but Garth at Dunbar. Dunbar was quite good actually, but I would not recommend going on platform 2 unless you know. Unless you've got like Traxi or open tide trays on you, so you know where the movements are. It was alright for some movements, but I prefer platform one where you got like a nice long curve. And then we finished off in Musselburgh, and then back to Edinburgh, back here. Right, tomorrow's plan I will have to change big time. Because I had Cam Camelin. Now, so what did I say after the live stream? Are you doing Rob Royston? Yes. Rob Royston was going to be the last station in Scotland before I went back over to England. But Rob Royston will still be on tomorrow, but I don't know where it's going to go in now because I did have plans to do Flimby, Maryport and Wigton. All three stations on the Cumbin Coast. Fortunately though, there has been a landslip on the Cumbrian coast between Whitehaven and I think it's Picton? No. I can't remember. Parton. That's it, Parton. So they had to close the line. I was planning to go on the Cumbrian coast to get um, an LMS Jubilee, which is Alberta, where it's actually guaranteed here in disguise. But now I can't do that. I can get that Carlisle, but they repath that down the south Carlisle. I don't know what time it's going to leave Carlisle because the time's not up yet. So I won't be going to get the steamer there as, as planned. I'm going to have to literally all that there change it. But some stations will be kept. But I'm going to have to change it. So I'm going to do that after I finish up. You know, with social media by now, it's going to be at the end. The blog's been terminated sternly for the last time. Thank you for watching Siren Trades. And we'll see you on the revised plan for tomorrow. Because this plan... Might as well go in the bin.